my channel i hope you are having a great week on the weekend um today is a quick video but before i start the video i just want to appreciate all my subscribers i'm really grateful for all your support and also i want to welcome my new subscribers um thank you all for subscribing to my channel i do hope you all will enjoy my all my videos on my channel um thanks guys for subscribing i appreciate you coming to my channel um thank you very much this is a quick video so today's video i'm going to be making um peri peri chicken or chicken peri peri okay I made it in one of my video and I just show it I didn't really show how I made it but today I'm not going to be making my own um, my own peri peri seasoning I'm going to be using this seasoning because I don't want the video to be long maybe in a more another video when I have more time I will buy all the stuff I normally use to make my own version of this seasoning but just a quick video today so yeah so we are going to be needing the peri peri sauce as you can hear from my voice i'm not feeling so very well my, i'm having cold yeah so we are going to be needing peri peri seasoning chicken peri peri seasoning of course i also you are going to be needing a bit of rosemary you need rosemary um aromat and some salt and of course you need your chicken i'm using two chicken but you don't have to use two chicken it's because i'm making it for a lot of people so i'm using two chicken okay guys yeah so that's all we will be needing for this um, peri peri chicken or chicken peri peri one of those they call it okay guys okay guys so first thing first you have to go and wash your chicken i've washed mine i just finished washing it sorry i didn't show that on camera so you have to wash the chicken first once you finish washing the chicken clean the way you like your chicken to be washed clean then you are going to add just a little bit of salt because remember aromat have salt okay so we are going to be adding a bit of salt so this is a lot of chicken so you had a bit of salt and then you can add your um, rosemary. Just add a bit of rosemary, not too much rosemary, just a little. And then now you can add your um, peri peri seasoning. It's a new one, so I have to open it. Okay, guys. So the peri peri seasoning, it has crushed peppers and quite other stuff. But I'll show you where I make my own version. Of this seasoning okay guys nice sauce it's a seasoning I don't know why I keep mentioning sauce so it's a seasoning okay so you sprinkle a generous amount especially when you're doing a lot of chicken you sprinkle a generous amount because I'm doing a lot of chicken and then add your aromat you can use Maggi cube or a non Maggi cube chicken non Maggi cube or Maggi chicken cube or any others um chicken cube so you had a generous amount of aromat especially we are doing a lot of chicken you can see my chicken let me move the camera back a bit you can see that my chicken is quite a lot so i put generous amount of aromat and then afterwards you mix it together with your hands mix it together make sure all the chicken get cover and the peri peri seasoning as i say you can use um non-chicken cube if you don't have aromat or you can use any chicken cube if you don't have aromat or if you don't have non-chicken cube you can even just use just none just normal maggi cube So once you mix everything together, 
you are going to leave this for like about um, 10 to 15 minutes you cover it and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to do that I'm going to cover it and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and I'll come back to you guys okay guys so it's been 15 minutes so a little bit more than 15 minutes so I just open my chicken now you need to preheat your oven to 200 um, 200 degree my oven is electric oven so I've already set it to 200 I'll show you guys already set it to 200 so you can see it there so I put on 200 make sure your oven is warm enough I'm just making some plantain over there okay guys so now you want to line your oven tray with a non-stick um, oven non-stick oven baking paper I don't know what they call this oven anyway let me show you guys the name baking is it upside down I think I'm not sure if it's upside down baking non-stick non-stick um, baking something anyway yeah so li line your oven tray I'm using two tray this is one of them and make sure your oven is set already yeah so when your oven is lined okay I mean once you finish setting your oven make sure you set it on on time so it can get really warm and you've lined your your tray sorry guys i was distracted by someone that's why i'm just repeating myself all over again okay guys yeah so now you just put your chicken you just put your chicken on the tray okay guys so normally this chicken takes about 45 minutes to cook well in the first cooking it's 20 minutes because when you cook the oil the chicken in the oven there will be a lot of water there will be a lot of water in the tray so what i do let me move this to the side there will be a lot of water in the tray so what i do is when the chicken has cooked for like 20 to 25 minutes i normally leave it for like 25 minutes anyway i come i take the chicken out and i drain some water out of the chicken because there will be so much water inside the tray so I drain the water out. That is after the chicken has cooked for like 25 minutes. Remember your gas oven. I'm not using gas, so I can't tell you gas. Oven, electric oven, 200 degree. Uh, maybe gas, 200 degree as well. I don't know how gas work. I've never really used gas cooker. I normally use electric. Yeah, guys. So... When it's cooked for 25 minutes or sometimes I leave it around maybe like 25 to 30 minutes, occasionally sometimes 30 minutes. I come, drain the water out and then I put it back in the oven. I put it back in the oven for like another 10 minutes to crisp, you know, for the top to really crisp and dry nicely so this is my second tray because i'm doing um, a lot of chicken so what i do first i like to use the skin to face the paper i like using this the skin section to face the paper This is just so that the chicken doesn't stick to the tray and the chicken doesn't stick to the paper. That's why I use the non-stick baking um, paper. So while I am doing this, my oven is already heating up. Okay, guys. So that's all you need to do now. Next is to put it in the oven. So next, just to put it in the oven.
so if your oven have a timer you set the timer mine doesn't have a timer so i use my time to set to check i look at the time once i put it how many the time i put it on the account from that time so when it's like 25 minutes you come and remove it and drain some water out of it and leave just a little water and put it back in the oven so you can either leave it for 25 minutes or leave it for 30 minutes make sure it's on 200 and then come back drain some water leave just a little water drain some water out of it put it back for another um 10 to 15 minutes because in true honesty the chicken take about 45 minutes to cook so in 30 minutes time come take it out of the oven drain some water out of it then put it back just leave a little bit of water turn the chicken turn it to the other side i'll show you guys anyway turn it to the other side just in case i forget to show that part turn it to the other side put it back in the oven for 15 more minutes to dry nicely crispy and that is it and you bring it out okay guys i'll catch you um, when it's time for that okay guys so this has been cooking for like 30 minutes now so you guys can see the water inside the chicken can you see the water there I hope you guys can see the water. I'm just taking the camera closer. You see the water? So I'm going to drain some of this water away and just leave a little bit of water. So I'll do the same to the other tray that, that I still have in the oven. So when I finish draining it, what I do is I take my, I don't know what you call this. I take this and then I turn the chicken. Can you see that? Turn the chicken over turn all the chicken over so I'm going to drain the water I'm going to drain and leave just a little bit of water okay so you turn the chicken over and then after that you put it back in the oven for 15 more minutes you can leave it for 20 minutes if you want it to be really really crispy and dry so you can leave it for another 20 or more minutes but normally I leave mine for like 15 maximum 20 minutes to dry and like crispy like as if you fry it you understand guys yeah so that's what you need to do next and then after that I will show you guys when the chicken is cooked when it's crisp and ready to be eaten okay guys catch you guys later okay guys so this is the chicken you can see that it's cooked now can you see it? it's cooked very well it's crisp to the way i want yeah guys yeah so this is the end result of the chicken peri peri peri, peri chicken i think it's called yeah so that's one tree there and this is the other tree okay guys so this is the end of the video i do hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please don't forget to like comment and share it um yeah guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in my next video in my next vlog thanks guys bye